Hey guys, welcome back to the Girl Gone London channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I'm a dual UK and American citizen, and today I am telling you the British things that I had never seen in my life before moving to the UK. Okay, so the idea for this video came about because I was talking to a group of Americans who are visiting the UK for the first time, and they mentioned something on my list that made me realize that it's so common for me now, but I had never seen one of these before moving to the UK, so I thought I'd make a list and do a whole video. So let's jump right into what that thing was. Um, so the first thing on my list is a heated towel rail. So these are super common in the UK. They look like this if you are from another country that doesn't use them. And essentially it is where you hang your towels, but they are heated. So in the depths of summer when it's a hot day, the heating to this typically won't come on because it is usually attached to the heating in your house. Um, but in the winter months, it typically will come on with your heating, so it essentially dries out your towels. This is one of the most genius inventions that I definitely would have to install in my American house if I ever moved back because it is so nice to have like really warm towels, whether you take your shower in the morning or at night, um, to not have it be like damp and mildewy because it didn't dry off because it, you know, rained a lot or is um, humid in the house, having this heated towel rail is a godsend, um, except for when you don't realize that it is a heated towel rail um, and you put your hand on it like I did the very first time because I didn't realize that there was heat involved, basically scorched my hand. So don't touch them or lean on them, uh, but definitely if you're visiting the UK, take advantage of the heated towel rail. The next thing on my list that I hadn't seen in the US, and this is due to my location as well, so I grew up in the suburbs of Florida and I had never seen a mail slot in a door um, or a letterbox as they would call it in the UK. This is something that does happen in other parts of the US, but not in the suburbs of Florida. Everyone has a mailbox in the suburbs that looks like this, and it is at the end of your driveway, so we don't have um, anything coming directly into our house as far as the mail goes. So it's very common, I would say the majority of people in the UK have a letterbox, so it's in your front door and the mail goes right through it. Okay, the next thing on my list that I had never seen before moving to the UK was a proper roundabout. Now, there are some roundabouts in the US. Um, in Florida, the the most roundabout I had ever seen was like a really tiny one in a parking lot, which was basically to try and direct traffic. Didn't really work because we didn't know what to do with it, so people just kind of drove wherever they wanted to through it. Um, but a roundabout like this, I had never seen in real life before moving to the UK, had never used one. Um, they are an experience to drive on, they are an experience to be driven on, and they were something that was very foreign to me coming from the US where we mostly have straight roads with four-way stops as opposed to roundabouts. Now let me take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Busu. Busu is an amazing language learning platform that offers bite-sized lessons to help you read, write and speak in the language of your choice. For me, that language has been Spanish because I am practicing to be able to go to my favorite European travel destination, Spain. One of the things I love most about Busu is how easy it is to fit their lessons into my schedule. The lessons really are bite-sized. They're not gonna take you forever. You don't need to commit loads of time per lesson. You can do it while waiting for an appointment. If there's a really long line at the supermarket, you can fit it really easily into your schedule. I also wanna mention Busu Premium. The sun is literally shining in on Busu Premium um, because with Busu, you get the bite-sized lessons, but with Busu Premium, you get a ton of extra features that are really, really cool. Um, some of my favorites are the online community of native speakers to actually help you correct and practice your speaking and listening, which is amazing, um, and also an AI-powered review system. So it takes what you have struggled with and makes sure that you review to not forget what you've learned and to really focus on where you have struggled. Now, if you're interested in upping your language skills, check out Busu and unlock seven days worth of Busu Premium by using the link below. Now back to the video. The next thing on my list that I had never seen or tasted 
was a Yorkshire pudding. A Yorkshire pudding looks like this, and we do not have them in the US. Um, it's not something that we would make. It's not something that most people have heard of unless maybe you have some sort of like close British ties. Um, and I had no idea how to eat it, what it was, what it might taste like when I first moved to the UK. Now it's one of my favorite things to eat with gravy or even plain. Um, and this just made my list as something that I had never ever seen before moving to the UK. Now the next thing on my list is a three prong plug. A UK plug, everybody. Um, so, had never seen this because obviously in the US we have US plugs, which I'm trying to pull mine now, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Ooh, there goes all of my electronics. Basically, it looks like this. It's two-pronged, um, and so that was what I knew of as a plug. Moving to the UK, I was like, what the heck is this? Um, there are lots of videos about how superior the UK plug is to almost any other plug in the world. They hurt a lot to step on, not gonna lie, um, but they do tend to stay in the wall a lot better, which is what I like about them. Um, so yeah, three-pronged plug, had never laid my eyes on one until I moved to the UK. Now the next thing on my list is, well, I had one thing, but I'll add a bonus one. So I was gonna say a flake, a Cadbury flake, looks like this. Had never seen this, had never heard of it. Um, basically, it is milk chocolate in kind of like a funny, flaky texture, and it's great. And you usually have it with ice cream or just plain, whatever you want. Um, so I'd never seen those, never heard of them, never seen them in person. Um, and the other thing that I just thought of was a Freddo. Freddos are very common in the UK. They look like this milk chocolate in the shape of a frog. Um, people typically use them to measure things like inflation or um, how expensive things are getting and how much the Freddo is shrinking, but it's basically delicious milk chocolate in the shape of a frog. Had never heard of it, had never seen a Freddo before moving to the UK. Now the next thing on my list is spray deodorant. Yes, I had never seen spray deodorant ever in my entire life. Um, it's not common in the US to use spray deodorant. It's also not common to use uh, roll-on deodorant that looks like this. We typically use stick deodorant, which can be actually difficult to find in the UK. Um, in my local grocery store, I couldn't find it. Sometimes there will be one option, but it's very expensive and very small. Um, but back to my original point of spray deodorant, not really a thing where I'm from in the US, not really an option you see at the grocery store um, or the supermarket. So uh, spray deodorant was something new for me that I had never seen before. And the last thing on my list, saving the best for last, and by best I mean the one that most British people watching are going to be absolutely horrified by, I had never seen an electric kettle. That's right, people. I had never seen an electric kettle. I had seen a kettle that you put on the stove to boil water, but an electric kettle, which I would say is most British homes prized possession. Like if there was gonna be a fire or a natural disaster and you were like, what should I grab? It would be like the family and the kettle because if you have a kettle, then you can have tea and then everything is fine. Um, and yeah, so an electric kettle, so common in the UK. If you don't have one, it's weird. In the US, not so much. Um, we have coffee makers. Most people won't even have any sort of kettle. My mom just had one um, because she did like tea, but again, it was um, not an electric one until she was introduced to the electric kettles once I moved here and then she got one had never laid eyes on one. I'm gonna be open here and say I didn't even know how to use it. I know it's very easy, you just press the little button, but I'd never seen this contraption before in my life. So that rounds out my list of things I had never seen before moving to the UK. And I would love for you to comment below and tell me something that you saw in another country, an, an object or a food, that you had never either heard of or had seen uh, before going to that country. Now that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.